Hey there, so a quick intro to these videos, I am going to be doing every quest, side quest, character quest as I come across them, try to conquer every bit of content in another Eden on a completely free to play account. So this is my first YouTube series, so bear with me uh, while I kind of iron out the details, but until then, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. Alright. So here we are with our next side quest, the problem child in the magic classroom. There's a problem child in the Palsible Palace magic classroom. Talk to the teacher. Okay, we will. Let's talk. Hello, can I help you? Sorry, am I interrupting? I was wondering if I could sit in for a while. Secrets of knowledge are always welcome. Great, thanks. I've got to say, this class looks pretty comprehensive. It's all about striking the right balance between practice and theory. You might not be so impressed if you saw a student pour too much magic into a spell and collapse. I'd be impressed by their dedication, you know, as long as they didn't kill themselves. Whoa, don't you use mana potions or anything? No store-bought potions are allowed here. Students have to make them from scratch. Unfortunately, we're running low on our stores of golem crystals, a key ingredient for such elixirs. Really? I'd be happy to go get some more for you. That'd be wonderful. I'd be eternally grateful. No problem. He looks so happy. He's like super happy to help with these golem crystals. But the secret is, he's not even in the party that's going to go. He really just volunteered everybody else. He's like, yeah, I'll freaking go. And then he's like, alright guys, uh, I'll be here waiting. Oh, this, the golems are right here in this... Da, 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 da. Well. All right, there's one. I am still learning, but we won. I need four. Whew. Those golem aren't the most common spawn here either. Yeah, well, my luck is looking up, I guess. Uh, wait, hold on. Yeah, there we go. Da, 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 da. Nice. All right. That's two. Oh, there's a hundred koalas. Co koalas? Koalas? Whatever they are. Uh, which one of these? We'll type blunt. There we go. Nice. Ah oh, man, it didn't drop a crystal though. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Alright, still need two more. Nope, nope, too far. Too far. At least I'm getting lucky with them spawning. be on that one first, but you don't need that. Alright, there's one. We got it. One more. I guess we do, Felmina. Is that Felmina that was talking? To be honest, I don't know. I don't recognize them by voice. You don't know, I recognize this freaking me you screaming. Wow, I really had a freaking golem every encounter here. I don't know why I said that. Because this one's not going to drop a crystal and I'm going to go through like five more fights before I see one again. Just a terrible idea of me. I'm just going to go ahead and jinx the crap out of myself. It's fine. Are 
Oh, all right. Come on, there's the last one. You need to rest before I leave town again. Holy cow. All right, there's four of them. Back to the magic classroom. Is it the classroom that's magic? Is that why they can practice in there? Or is it just that they practice magic in there? These are the real questions. All right. Uh, okay, do it like this, then like that. Give it a twist. Did I click on her or is this part of the thing? Apparently I did. No, you're not. Okay, I guess I should probably click on the teacher, huh? There we go. Teacher, I got you those potion ingredients. Splendid, and not a moment too soon either. Wow, your kids must be practicing hard. Couldn't you have waited till I got back? There's no problem with the regular students. This boy, on the other hand, is badly in need of an elixir. Yo, he can like barely walk. Ugh, used too much magic. Gonna faint. What am I to do with you? I admire your passion, but restraint is a virtue too, you know. Aldo, if you would hand me the ingredients, I'll whip something. I'll whip up something post haste. Post haste. The teacher expertly brews a potion and gives it to the worn out boy. Ooh, I feel like a million git. These potions are bitter, but they sure get the job done. You're still recovering. Take a break for a few minutes. No way. I'm finally getting the hang of this spell. I'll get it right next try. Hiya! Yo, this kid's gonna friggin' explode. <laughs> Stop that! You're not allowed to use spells we haven't covered in class. She's very calm about the fact that this kid looks like he's about to explode. Too late now, Teach! Time for my new attack's grand de debut! Eh? The flow of magic doesn't feel right. Yarg! Oh no, not again. Whoa. That was intense for like very little things that have actually happened. Whoopsie, looks like another failure. What did I do wrong? How many times do I have to tell you? These are dangerous forces we're working with. You need to be more careful. Take some time to think about what you've done and no more magic. Shoot, I was so sure I had it right this time. You gonna go try it in an alley or something now? My poor eyes. That kid's really something. He has remarkable talent, and he's always eager to learn new things. The only problem is he has no sense of moderation. I wish he would be mindful of how much harm magic can cause if not handled properly. Would you have a word with him, Aldo? He may pay more attention to advice from a seasoned warrior. I don't know if I can convince the little guy, but I'll give it a try. Oh, well, this place filled up real quick. All right, where is this kid? You are trying your spell again, aren't you? Where did I mess up? Mom's spells are a lot harder to use than I thought. Oh, I know. If I release my hold at this point, that could work. I'd better try it out. Wow, you're pretty motivated for a kid who newly, nearly blew up his classroom. What do you mean nearly? Like, I don't know exactly what happened, Aldo, but it was pretty shady. That's not necessarily a bad thing, but why are you in such a hurry? You'd cause a lot less explosions if you took your time studying. Uh, a lot fewer explosions, Aldo. Please. Not likely. I need to become a great mage ASAP. I've got no time to sit around twiddling my thumbs. Whatcha? Hey, you just got through messing up one spell. Your teacher's gonna be mad. A great mage knows no fear. Stop that right now. What did I tell you before? 
Uh oh, looks like I'm busted. Time to scarper. Is that a word, scarper? Come back. Ah, <sighs> there's one in every class. Little firecracker, isn't he? He's about to be a big firecracker when he blows up. Feels like it's not just empty passion driving him on, though. Indeed. I'm worried he may cause irreparable damage if he doesn't learn to pace himself soon. Aldo, would you help me set him straight? Like, yo, I just tried to, and he ran away. Sure, having seen what that kid can do, I don't want him hurting himself or me. I don't want you to think I'm playing favorites with my students, but his late mother was my best friend, you see. I get it. I'll help you out any way I can. Thank you. Feel free to drop by the classroom again. That kid. Mark, was it? I hope that enthusiasm of his doesn't get him into more trouble. Somehow, I have a bad feeling about this. Alright, so that was the problem child in the magic classroom. Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you next episode. All right, everyone. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you're interested in seeing the grinding, all the little, uh, like the boards and all that little uh, maintenance kind of stuff I do on the characters, uh, I, w I do stream on Twitch. So uh, you can check that out at the same username, Corndog913. Other than that, I will be back soon with the next episode. Thanks again for watching. Have a good one.